What's up? This is Boxing Wave. So we got Sergey Kovalev fighting against uh, Cedric Agnew. Okay, it was really hard to fight find like footage on Cedric Agnew. There's not a lot of footage out there. I mean, I can only find one fight of him, and that was with, or at least one recent fight of him. That was with, um, uh, I think the guy was. Alfredo Contreras or something like that. It was the only fight that I could find that was recent. And, um, you know, I think Cedric Agnew is a pretty solid fighter. You know, I can't really say too much bad about him. He's undefeated. All right, the only thing is that he has for a very, very limited opposition, okay? The only person named um, that I recognized that was on his record was against uh, Yusef Mack, um, a guy that I know he fought... Uh, I know he fought, I saw the fight between him and Carl Froch. Carl Froch knocked him out early. And I know he fought, he lost to Tororis Cloud. Actually, he fought a few people, but that was the only, like, notable win that I noticed on there. And even when he beat Yusef Mack, that he was coming off a, a few losses or something like that. So, um, and that was uh, one of the two 12-round fights that he's been in. All right, so not really much to say about uh, Agnew, like like I said, he's a solid fighter. Um, he doesn't have a high punch rate or anything like that. Uh, but you know, he has solid defense. Uh, you know, he has solid punching power. Uh, he doesn't move around too much. Solid f head uh, head movement. Uh, he fight well. He 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 throws. He has a pretty solid jab. He fights well on the inside. Um, throws decent combinations here and there. But um. He's not a, he's not great at anything. He's just pretty much solid across the boards, all right? So, um, you know, I, I, he even fights pretty well off the ropes. So, you know, he backs, at least in this fight that I saw, uh, he purposely backed himself into the ropes. And, you know, he was fighting pretty well. I wanted to see a knockout because the guy really didn't bring anything to the table, you know. But, um, you know, he's a decent fighter. Not really better than anyone that Kovalev has faced up to up to this point. Um, so I don't really see him being a threat to Kovalev or anything like that. Kovalev, uh, he's, he's, he had four knockouts in 2013. And you could argue that all of these guys that he uh, beat are around the same level as Agnew. Um, not, no one's really better. You know, he's not, Agnew doesn't really bring anything new. Um, he's an African-American fighter. Uh, I think, I believe he's from Houston. You know, Kovalev has beaten plenty of black fighters for you guys out there that think, uh, you know, Kovalev have beaten plenty of black fighters, okay? So, this is nothing new. And I think I see Kovalev. I want to see. I want to see Agnew may may go past the forefront. A lot of guys that Kovalev is beating, he's beating them very early, first three or four rounds. He's getting these guys out of here. The last fight he fought uh, Ishmael Shalak, he knocked them out in the second round. You know he's fought uh, Nathan Cleverly, he knocked them out in the fourth round. He fought Daniel Baboon twice. Um, you know he's fought some decent guys there. And he's been not, you know, every, a lot of people just want to see the fight between him and Adoma Stevenson at this point. That's what I really want to see. But Kovalev, he's just, he's like the most, one of the best offensive fighters out there. I mean, this guy has a very high punch value and he has power in both hands. And he, he has, a, he has, he jumps into a quick start. As soon as the fight, the way I see this fight going, he's going to start off quickly and attack Agnew. And I think he's just going to be too much for Agnew. Agnew, like I said earlier, he doesn't have a he doesn't throw a high volume of punches. You know, I can see him being backed into the ropes with his guard up often. And um, you know, he's going to have his guard up. I seen him in the last fight, or the, the one fight that I saw him in. He had his guard up most of the time. Um, but I think Kovalev is going to attack his body, bring it back up top. It's going to be too much for this guy. I just don't see uh, Agnew winning the fight. Um, you know, unless there's some kind of shock knockout or something like that. You know, I mean, he does have a puncher's chance, but he's not really that much of a power puncher. If you look at him, he has a... Uh, he's well built, but he's not as powerful as he looks, okay? I think Kovalev is a whole lot more powerful than him. 
and I really don't see this fight going far. And um, the only thing is, Kovalev, if he isn't able to knock Agnew out, um, I really don't know how durable Agnew is because he hasn't really fought anyone. But it, let's just say um, Cedric is tough and he hangs in there. Um, he has fought, you know, in the later rounds a couple times. Maybe he'll take advantage because, you know, a lot of people still question whether Kovalev is good in the later rounds, okay, because he's knocking people out so early. No one really knows how he, how good he is when he fights in a long distance of matches. So um, that's the only way that I can see this fight going in Agnew's favor. But other than that, I think this is another guy that Kovalev is going to run through. Should be an easy fight for him. All right, so uh, that's my thoughts on the fight. I have plenty of more videos. There's a lot of stuff going on. I'm trying to catch up, so I'm going to try to do a few videos right now. But uh, that's my thoughts on the fight, so leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter. Thanks.